Hi, this is Isha the Mad Scientist with the Air Gigs blog. And in this video, I'm going to share my top 10 most helpful Pro Tools shortcuts. Learning these will really speed up your workflow, so grab something to take some notes, and we will dive into it. Number one, using spacebar for play and stop. Some of you may laugh at this if you've been using Pro Tools for a while, but think about it. Some people don't know, and every time they want to play, they have to come all the way up here with the mouse and click this button. And then when they're done, they come back up here and press stop. I've seen it before. It's a very slow way to work. You simply just need to press spacebar to play. And you press spacebar again to stop. Number two is recording. If you don't have the quick keys, you have to come up here and press record and then press the play button. But there is multiple quick keys for this. Depending on which hand is free, I'll use a different one. So my left hand is free. You can hit command space bar on a Mac or control space bar on a PC. If my right hand is free, I will use three on the numeric keypad or nine key on the bottom right of my full size keyboard. If you don't have a full size keyboard and you're using Pro Tools a lot, I highly recommend you get one. There's a lot of keyboard shortcuts that you can only do if you have one and it's really going to speed up your workflow. There's one more, I very rarely use it, but it is F12. With any of those quick keys, what you're going to do is you're going to arm record the track by clicking this red button and then you just use one of those quick keys I just mentioned. Number three. Zooming in and out quickly. I use command brackets on a Mac and it would be control brackets on a PC. You just select where you want to go and then use your brackets for in and out. If you only learned three of these today, these first three are really going to speed up your workflow. You zoom out, choose where you want to go, zoom in, and then hit play, spacebar. Okay, number four, how to drop markers in real time. While you're rolling, you can press enter on the numeric keypad or nine key on the bottom right. I'll show you an example. You hit play, and then when you get to a section that you want to mark, you press enter. Then you name it and press return and then you can do it again. That can be a quick way to lay out your whole song so that when you zoom out, you can see where all your different sections are located. Number five, using shift option on a Mac or shift alt on a PC to do whatever action you choose to all selected tracks. This can be really helpful in combination with this button up here that's called Link Track and Edit Selection. This allows you to quickly select these tracks, hold Shift Option, and then you can mute or solo or put them on input and record. Number six is switching between the mix and edit window. On a Mac, this is Command Equals, Control Equals on a PC, this just allows you to very quickly go from having your faders and sends and easy to see, and then your audio waveforms easy to see. You probably use that more than anything in Pro Tools. Number seven is solo isolate. A lot of people don't even know this because I don't think you can do this without a quick key. If you can, let me know down in the comments. So when you have tracks routed to an aux track, and you try to solo them, you'll no longer be able to hear them unless you also solo the aux track. Or if you have a reverb, you'll no longer be able to hear the wet signal unless you solo both. Now the way you can fix this is to solo isolate the aux tracks. You do that on a Mac by holding Command and on a PC by holding Control and just clicking the S solo button. Now, if I solo one of these tracks, it will still play with this reverb on. Number eight, how to create a fade quickly. 
you can hit Command F on a Mac or Control F on a PC. Simply select the area that you would like to do a fade and then use that quick key. Definitely want to make sure that any chops between audio have fades so that they do not click. Number nine is using option to copy a plugin or send from one track to another. So for example, if I want this hall reverb on this track to also be on this track, I can hold option on a Mac or alt on a PC, click the reverb send and drag it over. This also works with plugins, which can be really nice when you've set up a plugin chain and you like the setting, and then you have another vocal and you just need it to have the same setting. So you hold that down and drag it over. And now our final number 10 tip is to make new tracks. It is shift command N on a Mac, shift control N on a PC. Simply press those keyboard shortcuts and then it brings up the new track window where you can name and choose the type. So those are my 10 favorite Pro Tools shortcuts. Do you have one that I miss that you use all the time? Let me know down in the comments. I hope these were helpful to you. And if you're interested in more lessons, I offer them on air gigs and also mixing, mastering, pre-production, pretty much anything you name it, I can help you out with it if it involves making a record. So check out my listing in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.